um, when they did an ev evaluation, they found out that um, his illness deteriorated um, drastically. So again, they tried the same procedures that worked in 2007, um, the same medication, but that um, did not prove to be of any help. So we took him to Mexico City, where they did an evaluation, and the prognosis from that was that he needed to do a surgery. And that, the assessment alone cost us upwards of $34,000. Um, the best estimate at that time, this was in October of 2012, that just to start the surgery, it will cost um, upwards of $90,000. Of course, the Belize Defense Force is not in the position to spend that kind of money. We do not have that kind of money. Um, that kind of money is not allocated to us for medical treatment. So um, he returned to Belize and we have been investigating other alternative means of um, getting the surgery done. One such effort was to contact um, some specialists in the US to see if they could come down and do the surgery. But when we sent up the details to them, they advised us that based on the type of um, illness, the seriousness of it, it is best for us to take him out of the country where the specialist equipment are available. And that is the point where we are at right now. His condition has progressed just uh, initially with headaches and uh, he had a he also had uh, seizures and uh, eventually back from 2007 to 2011 the condition has deteriorated to the to the to where he has um, shown some weakness in his um, right side of the body. Uh, he has responded well to medication. However, um, the options in in this case are prim primarily based on the on the size of the malformation would be surgery. Uh, there is also the new technology not available, not even in, in Belize, only in, in Mexico and in the U.S. is radiation to to see if that can minimize the, the size of the malformation. All members of the Belize Defense Force is a, it is a part of, of their contract to serve the country and in turn they are supposed to get uh, medical coverage. Is that full medical coverage including the type of surgery we were talking about right now? Medical coverage in terms of what is available in Belize that the Ministry of Health could provide.